Hello friends, welcome back to the videos. So, the following set of videos will help us to understand the concept of functions, modules and packages that are available in Python. Let's try understanding what is a function first. See, in most of the time, in the programming scenario, you will have so many repeated tasks to be done. Right. So, in the main program, if you start including all those repeated functions, right. So, your program length, it becomes more lengthier, right. And in case of a some error, it becomes extremely difficult to debug it. Hence, the approach would be the repeated task, I will write in the form of a set of lines or a block, which I call it as a function. The definition of modules and packages I will uh, subsequently introduce to you in the later stages. Currently, let's focus only on the function part. As I mentioned, if you look at the definition of the function, the function definition is a set of lines or a block of code will be executed only when it is called. Right. So, I have a set of things to be done. Okay. Whenever I require that function that uh, set of blocks to be uh, executed only I'll call it okay in order to do a particular task I write a function right so uh, what's the advantage is it helps me to avoid rewriting the same code at n number of times or repeatedly right so by advantage another advantage is so I can call the functions as many times as required okay so in order to understand this Concept of function, let me take an example. Say example, you are a baker, right? So who uh, is involved in baking several things, right? When uh, And you, you are tied up with several tasks. What you do is, whenever you get an order to bake cake, right? So I outsource it, right? I ask someone to help me in order to do that. That means uh, in order to do the in order to bake a cake, so there are there is a person who helps me in order to do that. Okay, so in that case, I will be help, taking the help of another baker who helps me only to bake cakes. So whenever I get an order of cake, I will take the help of him. Otherwise, I will continue with my job. Right. So this process of Whenever I call, I take a help of another person, right? So, I call this as invoking thing, right? So, I can say like, I can make a call to that person and say like, I want cake. The next question would be like, how many number of pieces do I require, right? What is the flavor of the cake that I require? What should be the size or weight of the cake? Everything will be asked by the cake baker, right? So, these are the uh, arguments that I'll be passing. This set of things that I communicate to the cake baker are called as arguments, right? And similarly, the questions that are asked by the cake baker are how many number of pieces, which flavor, what is the size, right? The number of questions that are asked by the baker and the number of answers that are given by uh, you should be same. That means number of arguments which are passed by the main function and the number of parameters that are being accepted by the function, right, should be same. Right. So, let me qu quickly put back everything, this example in the context of function, right. This is a main program. This person who is baking, who is the owner of that bakery is a main function, right. Whenever I get order of cakes, right, I will take a help of another person who is a cake baker, right. So, this can be termed as a, this can be termed as a function. So, I can call him and order as many as times right, whenever I get an order of a cake, right. This process of calling him is called as invoking, right. And uh, while I am communicating with the cake baker, whatever is the information that I am passing are called as arguments. On the other hand, whatever is being passed into the function are called as parameters, 
right? So hope you understood the concept of functions. Let's try implementing this, uh, the same thing, same scenario. Let's try uh, mimicking it. Okay, so see you in the next video with the implementation of how to use, how to invoke a function and how to pass up parameters. See you in the next video. Thank you.